see now in this tutorial what we are going to discuss how to override the task or how to override few built-in tasks so I have written one code snippet over here that is nothing but the jar this jar task is built-in task right this jar task is built-in task this jar task is built-in task they have already written by the Gradle team and you are overriding that task here you are saying that jar would be having something manifest and into that you would be having some attribute called as main class like this okay now if you can see this thing if you can see this thing sample is one module and this is a root module source of the root module okay so here it is the source right here it is the source and into the source of the root module there is a main file or main folder into the main folder you have something called as Java and the resources you have something called as Java and the resources right so in the Java folder I am going to create new what you can say package see new or simple I am going to do is that say new main here you can say main right I have created one class whose name is the main and let me write public static void main PSVM you are using what you can say IntelliJ idea it is very intelligent just say PSVM keyword and just say tab you would be getting public static void main automatically right okay now here system.out.println s o u f means printf just have system.out.printf and you can say this is starting or hello world more traditionally hello world something like this hello world you can say hello world so in the source root source you created in the main in the Java you created something called as main now your jar is not working why because of it was missing one attribute main class so presently you created what you can say one class and name fully qualified name of that class if you know how Java packages work fully qualified this I'm saying okay now I'll go to the command command prompt just say clear it right I'm clearing it and you can say gradle w dot forward slash gradle w right dot forward slash gradle w and you can say jar here you can run which task jar just say enter now it would be building the project and then generating the jar right it has successfully generated the jar if you can go to the folder this libs and this jar has been generated okay now let's navigate to that folder likewise cd build cd libs and java and jar you can say this can you see hello world over here if you can check hello world over here you got the output and you didn't get the error that no main manifest attribute is there attribute missing why because you have overridden the task here you have overridden the task manifest attribute and this right you have overridden the task okay now what I want to show is that how you are going to do same thing how you are going to do same thing for the sub module right how you are going to do same thing for the sub module so inside sample right inside sample I went now there you would be getting build.gradle right into the build.gradle now here I'm going to create some package right click new Java package see what I did so I right click new and the package right click new package over here right click new package 
and com in the java packages should be in the form of reverse domain com dot code cool c o d e k u l com dot code cool dot so this much is my domain code cool dot com after that you may write your project name you can say java brush up or you can say just brush up something like this is my project name and after that your main module and after that your module package likewise com dot code cool dot brush up so instead of main just this would be the root and into this you would be having one file called as main I'm creating main over here something like this can you see one package line has been added that was missing over here you cannot find package line over here but you will find package line over here okay then you can say PSVM public static void main s o u f system dot dot print ln make the slash n over here and you can say hello world from sample package from sample package right okay now once again generate the build not here say hello world from sample package okay just have cd dot dot cd dot dot right now you are going to execute jar right just make the configuration so you need to have you just have written now inside this thing something com dot foo dot bar dot main class you have written something called less com dot foo dot bar dot main class so instead of that you need to refer to your main fully qualified name of your main what I'm saying fully qualified name of your main class are you getting that fully qualified name of your main class okay once this is done right sorry some problem once this is done right once this is done you can have what you can say dot gradle w not inside build dot gradle w colon module name sample colon task name that one you want to execute dot forward slash gradle w colon sample colon task name just hit the enter you would be getting something like this in the sample module libs it has generated sample 100 jar over here right now see problem is that every time you need to execute the jar is that any way directly means is that any gradle task so that I can run the task we'll see that how to do that thing in the next tutorial okay then here I'm going to go to the CD sample right I am entering into the CD sample then CD build then CD libs and then Java hyphen jar and you can say sample brush up and here you'd be getting hello world from the sample if you can see hello world from the sample hello world from the sample you made it over here means you created one command or you created one task overridden one task and that task you are executing like this we have seen how to execute the task in the root module how to execute the task in the inner module right how to generate the jar executable jar and how to execute that jar traditionally we have used java jar command so in the next tutorial I'm going to work or I'm going to deal with what you can say creating new task I'm going to create the new task that would be executing directly your project over here means gradle is the thing that is going to be used as a cloud structure right in the cloud environment so in the cloud environment you will not generate so typical example of this is the Heroku cloud Hero Heroku cloud right 
into Heroku Cloud, what you are going to do is that this is my the source, and from this source, kindly generate the build, and I'm going to execute that build using the Gradle run task. We'll see how to run with the Gradle task in the next tutorial. Keep watching, and if you like us, kindly subscribe us.